Pimp is like he a party to a crime type nigga, right? So he'll be saying shit, and I'll be right there. He said, like, Yeah, and me and Kid. And I'm like, No, man, Kid, I got nothing to do with that shit. Man. I, nigga, don't put me in that shit, right? You know? And he's talking to some straight up gangsters, you know, some straight up killers. I'm like, Pimp, I'm not in that, right? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. You know what I'm saying? And we just used to ride, you know, that. what's that highway to go? Uh, from T Houston? Ten. No, no, the, the look, to, to go to Port Arthur. I 10. Yeah, okay, yeah. I yeah. So so we get on that highway, we go to Port Arthur and just ride in the Bentley or, you know, we'd be in my compressor, we just we just chop it up. And sometimes Pimp be on there talking to Jay Prince and I be like, man, listen, man, I ain't got nothing to do with that, man, because that nigga, <laughs> yeah, Jay Prince know what I'm talking about. That nigga Pimp is crazy, man. Hey, but that nigga get that shit What was the craziest thing you heard him say? A poor, come on now. Hey, man, I'm talking, hey, when well, he was well, on well, the phone. Well, 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 I just put it like this, right? Pimp, it's like he a party to a crime type nigga, right? So he'll be saying shit, and I'll be right there. He's like, yeah, and me and Kid. And I'm like, no, man, Kid, I got nothing to do with that shit, man. I think don't put me in that shit, right? You know? And he's talking to some straight up gangsters, you know, some straight up killers. I'm like, Pimp, I'm not in that, right? You know what I'm saying? Me and, you know, Pimp will call me. He called me when he went off. Remember he went off on Atlanta? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that Listen, call. But, but let me tell you. He called you before or after he that. He called me before the shit. And what did he say? He's like, yeah, man, Ken, I'm going to go in. Woo, 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 woo. You know what I'm saying? I said, Pimp, listen. I said, man, you know, we doing this shit, man. I said, you might want to go in after, you know, the album come out. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you might not want to do it right now. You know, next thing I know, man, niggas calling me, man. Did you hear what Pim say? You hear what Pim say? And, you know, that's just how he was, man. What did he say? Did, what did you say to him after that? After he, after you I, heard it? Come on, bro. He already did it on my radio show. Yeah, I remember you did it on he your did on my radio show like two or three times. And I'm that's him. He going to do that. Once he gets started. You can't he, stop him. You can't stop him. And, and, and he tricky with it, right? He'll call you, act like he wants your advice, and next thing you know, he on the radio talking shit. But the <laughs> only thing, if you listen to all the interviews, he always be like, man, Ken, he always throw my name in the shit. So I be like, man, oh, you know, I, like said, you I, got, yeah, I, I got a lot of love in Atlanta, bro. Don't say my name, you know what I'm saying, that shit. I want, you know, and you know, like, that's my little brother too, man. But you know, on the flip side, man, the man to give you the shirt off his back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I made a lot of money. Pimp, man, the first time Pimp gave me some money, I did a, a deal with this dude named uh, Don Fetty. Okay. You know, Pimp gave me, just gave me $2,500. Then after that, I just started hooking him up with, with Hood, nigga. He said, Kim, we gonna rap hustle. He said, nigga, for a 16, nigga, get a hoe. For 8,000, nigga, get an eight. For 4,000, nigga, get a four. He, he, so he was thinking in terms of drugs. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. And that's on that. That's on here. He talk about it on here. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Me, so you know that that was just type of shit. Then we went to Universal. I don't know if you remember what was what was Rick the last name. The, Martin. Rick Martin. We, we went up there to Universal. He got me and Pimp and uh, D Shade that the movie deal is for three million. D went to jail. Okay. Pimp died. The three million dollars gone. He talk about it in this movie. So Pimp was gonna play me. You know what I'm saying? You know that. Didn't I you? didn't know that. He was yeah, going to play it's you. On, it's, on, yeah, it's, on, it's on YouTube. He's going to play me. Man, we had it all set up, man. We finna make all bro, this motherfucking money. Bro, if Pimp, DJ Beto, I'm going to shout out to DJ Beto. DJ Beto said if Pimp would have lived another 30 days. Everybody would have been rich. Everybody would have been rich. They was, they was, yeah, he was the hottest nigga on the planet. 30 he was. days. He had so many million dollar deals in the works. It was crazy. So, I had, hey, I, what, what do, how do you uh, explain? I always go break it down a little bit more for me or how this was going to happen in 30 days in your, in your mind. Was, uh, I new, mean, the deals were already in the, in, in the works and, and, and it just had to come to fruition. You okay. know what I mean? His deal he's talking about, I've heard him say this story a couple times. It was, it's true. It's and, true. And Rick, Rick Martin, right? He, he was a big old fat black nigga, right? Rick Martin was a big old, but he was, he talked like a white boy. He was cold. That motherfucker was cold. Was, Pimp, Pimp was always like, man, Ken, Rick that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Rick, I mean, that Bro. nigga. So so you can you imagine me? I'm sitting at home, right? And these motherfuckers talking about, I'm finna get a million dollars. So you know, I'm like, shit. I mean, that's the first deal I'm getting for a million, right? So I'm like, shit, man. <laughs> he about to go and down. So, so when D went dead to jail. Serious. It was dead serious. So when D went to jail, I'm like, damn. Because D, D, I went over to D house one time, man, no bullshit. D had like a million dollars in hundred dollar bills just in the fucking a trunk of a car. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and so, you know, he would, you know, D was like, you know, he, he was our investor. You know, he, yeah. you know, you know, he invested a lot of money in me and Pimp. You know, he probably spent $3,000. So he's like, man, woo, 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 woo. So he was making a lot of shit happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but I didn't know 
that he was selling drugs or whatever they are allegedly selling drugs. You know, because I'm, you know me, I don't want to be involved in that shit. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm ing. I'm not going to send the bitch. You know what I'm, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm like, man, that they don't take the chance. The pimp ain't taking no chances. Right? Yeah. So, 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 so this nigga, you know, what I'm saying he sent me, he sent me to uh, L.A. Uh, to New York. He gave me 18 bands to go get some cameras. At that time, they okay. was getting the cameras. So, you know, we getting all ready for this shit, and we doing all this shit. And next thing I know, I go over to the man's house, man. He out now. But I go over his house to do a crack. So, you know what I mean? You know, I ain't got no strap. I'm like, I'm bagging out that motherfucker mm -hmm. like a scary movie. Like, oh, man, what the fuck is going on? You're like, you know, so I'm calling a nigga, you know what I'm saying, me, and the nigga ain't asking the phone. And then finally, you know, his wife called me. D wife called me and said, "Yeah, you know, D in jail." So when Damn. I call, so when I called Pippin, I said, "Man, D in jail." Pippin was like, "Ah, hell no, not the money, man." You know what I'm saying? Mm. He's like, "Man," he said, "That was crazy." And then so me and D, you know, of course, you know, that's my man. So we corresponded through the penitentiary, through the, the county jail, whatever the fuck that shit was. And so I'm like, "Yeah, man, you know, we gonna still try to make it happen, man." You know, and you know he, you know he like, "Man, don't cut me out, man. Don't cut yeah, me out, man. Yeah. I, I want my million, right?" I said, "Man, you know I ain't gonna do you like that, P. Yeah. I fucks with you because we did the best of both worlds together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, me? So while he in jail, you know, we get that call. Yeah, Pim dead. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.